Hey there, uh, I've gotten a few questions about um, inductive and deductive reasoning. So I thought I would just show a few more examples with uh, odd and even integers. So let's get started here. If you have not watched my first video on inductive and deductive reasoning, I recommend that you go and watch that video first. I will link it here for you, uh, just in case you haven't seen that. I recommend you watch that first. It's gonna give you a little bit more of an in-depth uh, look into using deductive reasoning with even and odd integers. So if you've already watched that, let's keep it going. Okay, so in general, with an even integer, what you're looking at creating is something that can be written in the form 2x, where x is an element of the integers. And for an odd integer, you're looking to create something in the form 2x plus 1, where again, x is an element of the integers. So what we're looking to do is, uh, for an odd integer, it's just going to be an e even integer plus one. And we're going to use these two ideas to prove conjectures. Let's go ahead and do a first example. Example number one, prove that the sum of two even integers is always even. What we want to start with is writing out two even integers. So this is going to be, I'm going to use 2x for integer number one. And I'll use 2y for integer two. What I'm trying to show is that when I add these two things together, that the result will always be even. So let's take their sum, 2x plus 2y. What I'm trying to turn this into in a general sense is I want it to look like the form 2 multiplied by something, and that something is going to be a variable. As long as I can make it look like this, then I'm proving that it's always going to be even. What I'm going to do here, and I'm going to rearrange how this looks, what I notice is that both these terms are divisible by 2. So I'm going to factor a 2 out. When I divide both of these terms by 2, I'm left with 2 multiplied by x plus y. This is pretty much already done. We're now showing that I can rewrite this sum as 2 multiplied by something. Because it doesn't really matter what this something is. As soon as I multiply it by 2, it's going to result in an even integer. So therefore, the result will always be even. And that's all we really have to show for that one. Let's try another example. Show that an even integer subtracted from an odd integer is always odd. First, what we want to start with is an even integer. Actually, sorry, no. In this case, we want to start with an odd integer. So let's start with 2x plus 1. What I'm doing is I'm subtracting an even integer from it. So I'm going to subtract an even integer. And again, I'm going to use a different variable to represent that I have two different numbers here. What I want to show is that this result is always going to be odd. Remember that odd integers always take this general form, 2x plus 1. And even breaking that down further, remember that 2x is an even integer, and then by adding 1, you're making it odd. So we want this general form. I'm going to rearrange what I have here. I have 2x, I'm going to subtract 2y, and then I'm adding 1. We can see we already have the 1. This plus 1 is already kind of at the end. So really, I just need to make sure that those first two terms can be rewritten as 2 times something. Let's factor a 2 out from the first two terms. When we factor out a 2, I'm left with x minus y plus 1. This is pretty much enough to show that it's always going to be odd. You have the plus 1. You have 2 multiplied by something. And this is pretty much enough. So we can there say, sorry, so we can say, therefore... The difference will always be odd. I hope this helps with the questions that I've been getting. Um, I've just had some confusion with my previous video and I thought having a few more examples might help you out. Let me know if you have any further questions. Have a good day.